Hey, how's it going, fellow traders? So, hope you're having a good weekend. So, as always, I'm going to um, go through the market outlook for this week. Okay, so today it's uh, 21st of June. Okay, um, we're preparing for uh, the week ahead, which is uh, the June 22nd to uh, June 26th. Okay, so if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, we do a lot of analysis videos such as this to help you prepare for the trading week ahead. Okay, with that being said, okay, uh, the first thing we always do is we always look at the Forex calendar. Okay, last week was a very difficult week, but this week, uh, it looks very good. Okay, you can see over here that uh, we do not have any um, major conferences which is something that I really love, okay? So this is the kind of week where uh, you want to be more aggressive, okay? Apart from this uh, RBNZ uh, rate statement, which is just uh, New Zealand, okay? It's probably going to be a very smooth sailing week, okay? Uh, this news are just hard data, okay? So I think uh, if you're in our channel for some time, you'll know that uh, we always say that uh, hard data news is when uh, you know the market still moves as per usual. But when it comes to conferences, uh, the market doesn't really move because uh, you can't really predict what the person is going to say beforehand, right? But all this kind of hard data, uh, the smart money already kind of really know what the smart data is and they have already taken uh, their position before the news event is released, right? Retail traders like us, uh, we need to look at a chart to decipher, you know, what are the big boys thinking and, you know, try to align our positions with them. Okay, so it's going to be an easy week. Okay, so if you want to learn how we do this, uh, we do cover this in our course as well. So I'll leave a link in the description below if uh, you, you're interested in getting our course. Okay, the access is free. Uh, just check out the link. You just uh, open an account with our sponsoring brokerage and uh, you get free access basically. Okay, so next week is going to be easy. So now let's head into the charts. Okay, so as always, let's start with a DXY. Okay, so DXY is the uh, dollar currency index. Okay, uh, we will try to understand where dollar is going first because uh, dollar is the major currency, right? In fact, it's the main currency. So if you can predict uh, where dollar is going to head to, uh, you know, the direction of dollar, it makes uh, trading so much easier. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let this DXY. Okay, so last week our, you know, our analysis, we were talking about how, uh, you know, um, DXY found support at the 0.786 level over here. Okay, and we were expecting a rebound higher. Okay, so nothing much has changed. Okay, it's still the same. Okay, uh, we, we, we're still looking for dollar to rebound higher. Okay, so th there seems to be some strength because uh, you can see on Friday, Friday, this is Friday, this is Thursday. Friday, you had a very nice close above uh, this candle high, this candle high, this candle high, this candle high, as well as this candle high, okay? So it's very uh, bullish, okay? In my opinion, this is a very bullish sign, okay? So um, that's what you want to be paying pay attention to. We want to observe a dollar strength, okay? That means uh, you want to be looking at, you know, um, shorting currencies like Euro dollar, Aussie dollar, uh, Kiwi dollar. Okay, so that's how we use DXY. Okay, but uh, we don't trade directly into DXY. Okay, so that's DXY. Now let's talk about a uh, Euro dollar. Okay, so Euro dollar. Um, for from our DXY analysis, we said that uh, we expect uh, you know, we expect uh, DXY to strengthen. Okay. Uh, last week we also talked about this level over here. If you remember, uh, when I recorded the, the video, it was this candle, and I was saying that uh, I was very concerned about this low, which was not broken. Okay. So what happened was that on Thursday over here, this is Thursday, uh, the price did a nice close below it, but it still didn't close below uh, this candle low. Okay. As well as this candle low. So uh, it, it was. Pretty difficult to trade, okay? Partly because of the uh, quadruple witching as well. Okay, if you do not know what quadruple witching is, uh, check out the other video. Uh, the previous video was about a quadruple witching, okay? So on Friday, the good thing is that we have a very conclusive close, okay? It closed below all these levels, okay? Most importantly, it's a weak close, okay? A weak close is more powerful than a day close, right? So this is a very powerful sign that, uh, you know, the bears are in control. Okay, so definitely I'll be looking for, um, you know, any retracement up, I want to be shorting it down. Okay, this is a very good, uh, this should be a very good trade. Okay, it will be a good setup. Okay, so you just want to be patient. 
Okay, perhaps if you know, you can uh, get it somewhere here. Look for so, sort of a candlestick pattern somewhere in this region and short it down. Uh, that should be a very good trade. Okay, so Euro dollar uh, bearish on this one. Uh, key levels uh, is this zone over here. Okay, so uh, make sure you note down uh, these levels. Let me just draw it correctly. So about uh, 1.12099 uh, or 1.12102 or 1.1240. Okay, this is a uh, resistance level. We're looking to short it down. Okay, um, support wise, you can probably expect some form of support to come in around here. Okay, um, but I would expect uh, price to move more. I'm probably looking at uh, more of a big, bigger move down. Okay, because uh, next week there is no uh, conferences, so I expect it to be a week where uh, the market really moves. Okay, so I'll, I'll go for a bigger uh, profit target. Okay, uh, but please do not, uh, you know, take this as a trade signal itself. Okay, uh, this is not a trade signal. This is just giving you the, you the levels that I'm looking at. Okay, I do send out uh, our team's trade signals in the Telegram channel. So make sure you join that. And so that's free for you also. The link will be in the description. Okay, everything that uh, we offer here is free. Uh, just check it out, okay? So do not uh, just enter blindly. Now let's talk about uh, Aussie dollar, okay? So Aussie dollar also uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, previously, last week I was talking about the double bottom. Uh, this was the neckline. And you can see that, uh, you know, price really struggled uh, this zone over here, it was resisted, but price closed above and then did a fake out and then, you know, uh, it's resistance again. So last Friday, okay, I just showed clearly that this is resistance, okay? Now, Aussie dollar, I don't really like it because uh, this whole entire chunk is support, okay? So if you short now at the current price, uh, you're shorting in the support, okay? So that's not, not a wise move to do. Okay, and if you kind of, you know, short it over here, uh, the range is rather small because if let's say you short it here upon for confirmation, by right, a candlestick pattern, you probably get it somewhere here, right after the candlestick confirm itself. And um, your first profit target is here, the range is rather narrow. Okay, I don't really like uh, the narrow range. I want to look for trades uh, which can move. Okay, but nonetheless, there's nothing wrong with shorting up here. Okay, uh, I won't really buy here because I see it more as a down downtrend so i'll be more inclined to sell okay so the other scenario it's uh, you wait for a break of this level okay and then you just look for a retracement up look for some form of uh, candlestick pattern here your trade setup over here okay let me show it to you let me draw it uh, just let price re retest so basically we're doing the break and retest okay and uh, just enter somewhere here Okay, if not the other scenario, as I mentioned earlier, is you look for a retracement up here and uh, be very cautious when price comes back here. You either take a majority of your profits or you shift your stop loss to break even and pray that uh, this level gets bro broken down for a bigger move down. Okay, so that's uh, Aussie dollar is a bit trickier. Uh, I prefer to stick to Euro dollar, which is clearer. Okay, um, this is Kiwi dollar. Okay, Kiwi dollar also same thing. Okay, nothing much to say because it's the same exact thing as uh, Aussie dollar. This is the neckline, it's a double top. All right, let me just show you again. This is a double top over here. This is the first, first top, this is the second top, this is the neckline. Okay, so uh, what price did was uh, it, it couldn't close above. Okay, and then you have this uh, nice uh, uh, sort of a fake out movement over here. This is your nice fake out. Okay. So uh, definitely bearish on this. In fact, Friday, you almost retested the level. Okay, so same thing as Aussie. Uh, there's this chunk of support over here. You can see the candle lows over here. So right now, uh, I think it's, it's not wise to short right now. Okay, you, you want to wait for price to go down uh, lower first. Okay, to break the support and then trade the retracement up. Okay, if not, you can look for a short opportunity at uh, this level here, uh, 0.64723, okay? So you notice that uh, most of the time, you know, Aussie dollar, uh, Kiwi dollar, and Euro dollar, they, they are really the same, okay? Just, just wanted to bring up the levels, okay? Okay, this is dollar cat, okay? Dollar cat, uh, so like what I said last week, it, re it resembles a uh, DXY, Okay, uh, this one over here looks very bullish because uh, you have this uh, impulsive move up. Okay, you have this move up. Uh, now, I don't like this because of uh, this, this doji candle, this bar over here. Okay, this candle is very wide. So, um, 
if you just take the uh, low and the high, okay, this is the low and uh, this is the high. Okay, this is kind of uh, one of the techniques that I taught in the other video, the high-low candle technique. Uh, I believe that on this day, there was a news event. I can't really confirm now. Um, just a moment. Why is the uh, thing not? Okay, yeah. So, uh, this, so this candle over here, you can see this candle here. You have the high and the low. You know that the maximum uh, strength of the bulls is here. And uh, you know this is where the sellers are exhausted. So what happened is that on Friday, uh, on Friday, uh, the market just tested it nicely and then started uh, rallying. Okay, so the issue with it is also the same like uh, Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar. You have this high here as well. So price is on the high side right now. Okay, so although I'm keen in buying this currency pair, I'm not keen to be buying into support over here. Okay, so it's rather tricky because even if this support is broken, uh, let me show you, even if this support is broken, uh, here to here the distance is kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of narrow. I don't really like it. Okay, so my play for this would be uh, to wait for price to retrace down. Okay, buy it up. Uh, when it comes to this level, take some profits. Hopefully, it breaks. If it breaks, come here. I take some profit again. Then I leave the rest to right towards the supply zone over here. Let me show you here. Okay. Uh, if you do not know why this is a supply zone over here, uh, I did record a video. Okay. So um, make sure you just uh, check it out. Okay. My YouTube channel over here. Right, our team has put together a lot of videos. Okay, there's a lot of information. So just take it step by step. Um, just watch some of our videos, slowly learn uh, the way we see the market. Right, especially if you are starting out and you do not have money to invest in your education. Okay, uh, you, let's say you, you, you're not able to fund an account with our sponsoring brokerage because you do not have $500. That's fine. Okay, all this content that we generate on YouTube is meant to help you. Okay, you just need to put in the effort to watch the video, to ask questions if any, you know, you have any concerns or you, you don't understand a certain concept. Uh, just leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to address it. Okay, so this is really the best way for you to get started. Okay, so sorry for the rant. Okay, uh, anyway, back to uh, this. Uh, so this is the plan, right? I want to buy low. I want to take profits at the resistance level because there's a lot of overhead resistance. Okay, not to mention that this is itself a counter trend trade. Okay, so I want to be more cautious. I want to be more conservative with my take profits. Okay, so in a with trend scenario, meaning you are trading with the trend, you can be more uh, liberal with your take profit targets because you are following the trend. But in cases like this where you are trading counter trend, okay, uh, you want to make sure that you take your profits quicker. Okay, you want to lock in your profits. Okay, so let's talk about gold. Okay, gold, uh, in the Telegram channel, we talk about uh, this level, okay? We didn't enter it, right? We, we alerted you in gold about this level over here. So it was actually a very nice run, but um, I think last week, last week was a very, really difficult week to trade. Uh, we, we didn't want to take any more trades because it was very difficult and psychologically was very draining. So uh, we just didn't want to take it. But if you took this trade, uh, you would be in a very, very nice profit right now. Okay, so uh, the quadruple witching has passed. Okay, and uh, what happens? Price park at uh, this resistance level a uh, very you know very nicely okay so price didn't close above it just parked there you can see that this was the previous high here it's high here so okay so um i think this one is definitely bullish okay as uh what i mentioned in the telegram channel uh, you have this build up pressure right the reason why we were looking at long here is because there is this ascending uh you know trend line which each time the um the selling was getting weaker you can notice that the distance selling uh, the distance in selling here to here it's uh, let me show it to you where is the ruler okay here to here was about um you know it was about uh minus 1.66 a uh, drop okay but from here to here if we do it here it's lesser so we, we kind of saw that the, the selling is weakening and we saw this ascending trend line that's why we, we were bullish on it Okay, but now price is parked at a resistance. Okay, and I want to bring up to you additional levels. There's also this spike high over here. Okay, which is coincide with this a candle uh, body, as well as this one over here. 
Okay, so uh, this has been a very long consolidation. It's been a, a consolidation since April. So mid-April to uh, June, so that's like uh, two months already. Okay, so I'm expecting a big breakout, but I'm very concerned about uh, buying too early because right now you're parked at resistance. Okay, so you probably can wait for price to break above here. Okay, if you want to be more aggressive, you can buy as long as price close above this zone. And uh, hopefully when price hits this level, you shift the stop loss to break even, right? And if price just goes one direction, you'll be better. Okay, otherwise the safest option uh, is to wait for uh, this candle high to be broken, which uh, you, you might already have missed a chunk of the profits. Okay, so that's how, how, how I will trade it. Okay, I'll be more cautious. I'll, at, I'll enter somewhere probably here. I'll look for a candlestick pattern over here. And uh, I will try to manage my risk well and try to uh, hold to here and uh, watch here for a reaction. But when price is here, I'll shift it to break even so that um, if price do decide to you know, uh, start selling down off here, just a moment. Um, to know why this uh, uh, it's not working. Sorry for that. Okay, I don't know why this uh, it's not working. Okay, let me see if it works. Okay, yes, so I was saying, um, if you know, here, over here, start selling down, I would be out and break even, I wouldn't be uh, losing money. Okay, so that's how I trade it. Okay, so next up, let's talk about dollar yen. Okay, so dollar yen, um, you can see over here that right now it says support. Okay, uh, still bearish, I'm still bearish on this, but right now it says support and I don't like it that, you know, price on Friday didn't close below this level. Okay, so I want to look for a further confirmation. I want price to close below 1.06845, okay, on the day chart, okay, before, uh, you know, taking a trade. And if, uh, you know, there should be a trade, I'll be looking at uh, the, the low, this low over here for the potential take profit. And of course, if this low is broken, then um, we can expect a big move down, okay, because this whole entire uh, pattern here is broken, this uh, entire uh, so-called pattern here. Okay, so we should see a big move down, but right now it's still at support. So uh, let's see whether price uh, breaks or not. Okay, but if price does this, then uh, my bias would change. Okay, it will do this. Okay, so uh, it really depends on this line. Okay, so this 1.06845 is what I call the make or break level. Okay, if price breaks it down, then I'm bearish. If price is supported, then I'll probably be looking to buy, and uh, the first target would be the recent. Uh, high over here, okay? The recent high here, okay? So that's uh, how I would play the uh, dollar yen. Okay, I don't know why this thing keeps happening. I can't really click, okay? Okay, so this is a pound dollar. Okay, pound dollar is pretty interesting because last week we had uh, the uh, BOE, okay? So uh, it was very difficult to trade. So we, we didn't really manage to catch this big move down because uh, we didn't want to take a trade going into a high impact news, okay? That's kind of like gambling to us, okay? We don't like to, to gamble, we like to trade, okay? So over here, you can see that a uh, price has sold down or significantly. Now the question is only whether um, will price, uh, you know, do a retracement, okay? We definitely want to be on the short side, but the uh, question is, you know, do, do you want to... Uh, do you want to be selling down so low? Okay, so the first thing that we can see over here is that this is actually a demand zone. Okay, so price has just entered the demand zone. This is how we see the demand zone. You have a big rally of this, uh, what I call the basing candles. This is a basing candle, this is a basing candle, and this is a basing candle. Okay, um, you might not understand that, and that's fine. Okay, just take it from us that this is a very strong level. Okay, in fact, if you look left, you can tell that it's a very strong level because uh, this this was a uh, the this was a valley itself. Okay, so you know this is a strong level. So right now price is really very low. Okay, and uh, you have the zero point seven eight six down here as well. Okay, or if you use let's say you use the entire uh, upswing, uh, then zero point seven eight six is in this zone over here. So you could say, I want to short it down here, but uh, to be honest, I think it's really risky because this is the entire uh, demand zone. Okay? You, you can't really tell uh, where will price rebound within this zone. 
Okay, so uh, I think a safer option would be to wait for you know some form of um, pullback. Okay, to buy the pullback instead. Um, just a moment. So for me, I prefer to look for a buy. Okay, a counter trend trade up first, and then I shot it back down. Okay. So for pound dollar, it's a bit uh, harder to trade because I, I do think that price is a bit low now. Okay. So even though it's it's kind of like against the current impulses. You can see that there's a big sell down here and a big sell down here. But I, I do think that our price has really uh, reached its, uh, you know, kind of, it's low. Okay, and it's time to buy it up. Okay. So now you think that pound dollar is very risky to buy. Uh, what you can do is you can pair a uh, pound with some other currency. Right. So for example, if you are bearish on uh, Aussie dollar, as I mentioned, you are bearish on Euro dollar. What you can do is you can trade a uh, Euro pound. Right, because uh, you are bearish on euro and you are bullish on pound, so you trade euro pound. That will be a better pairing than uh, trading a uh, pound dollar directly. Okay, the same thing is is for pound Aussie. So if you are bullish on pound and you are bearish on uh, Aussie dollar, what you can do is you can trade across pound Aussie. Okay, so this is also how you formulate your trades. You know, as you are. Uh, as you analyze the market, sometimes you know you, you have certain biases for each of these currency pair, and then you realize that, oh yes, I can ma match this currency with that, and then I can try to find a better uh, pair to trade. Right? Because ideally, if you can be right on both currency pairs, meaning that you can be right about the direction of pound, and you can be right on the direction of Aussie, then pound Aussie, if you are right, is going to move much more. Because you are not just um, getting half the equation right, which is just pound uh, right. You're getting both of the equation right. Okay, And that's also how you maximize your uh, win rate, how you increase your win rate if you're able to predict the direction of both currency pairs, uh, not just one currency pair. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about the last currency. Then I'll just end off with this video. Okay, so make sure uh, you take notes. Uh, if you haven't write down the levels, uh, please go back to this video uh, and write down the levels. Okay, so Euro Yen, it's... Uh, okay, Euro Yen is really very bearish. Okay, uh, this is just selling down. Okay, the only issue right now is that uh, I do not see any good levels to enter. Okay, I only see that uh, this is a good support level. Okay, so I think you have to be a bit more patient if you want to enter uh, Euro Yen. Uh, wait for a retracement up here first and then you short it down. Okay, uh, right now currently price is in a no man's land. So if you just jump in right here, uh, you are not near any you know, important uh, resistance level. Right, if you enter, let's say you enter here and you put your stop loss above, then your stop loss is going to be super wide. Okay, it's going to be super wide and uh, for me personally, I don't like doing this kind of trades. This is a stop loss of like 138 pips. Okay, um, not, not the way I like to trade. I like to keep my stop loss tight. Okay, so for me, I'll just wait for price to retrace and look for candle uh, signal here. Look for a trade setup over here and then I'll just short it down. Okay, so, so bear in mind that um, there are support levels. Okay, there are certain support levels. You have the uh, 786 over here. So you can draw a line here as well. Okay, so let's say you short here, uh, you can potentially uh, take profit here. You can see that uh, this 786 level has some structural levels to it. You have uh, this valley, this valley, and this peak over here. So this is definitely a strong level. You also have it here, okay? So this is a very strong level, okay? If I short, I want to take profit somewhere here, okay? So that's it uh, for all this you know, analysis. Okay, once again, uh, Next week is going to be a very easy week. Okay, you should be more aggressive if uh, you know you're trading. Okay, be do not let your you know last week's losses uh, stop you from taking trade this week. Okay, I understand that last week was very difficult. Okay, uh, in fact our hit rate was only like twenty five percent, was very low. Okay, but the beauty of it is that we didn't lose that much money. Okay, because we manage our risk well. Okay, we cut our losses very fast. Okay, so right now it's twenty first of June. Okay, we have like kind of one more trading week to go. Okay, so let's end uh, June well. Okay, we are still up a lot of pips this month. Okay, we had the best uh, trading week uh, two weeks back. So let's carry on to stick to this plan. Manage your risk well and I'm sure that uh, you'll come out ahead. Okay, so if you have not gotten your day trading guide, uh, please download it. Okay, the, uh, I, 
put a link in the description below. Okay, it's a free day trading guide to teach you how to trade. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, hit the notification button because sometimes you know we send out uh time sensitive videos, right? Such as the quadruple witching, uh, whereby you should be watching it before the event happened, right? Because by the time you watch, you know, after the event has happened, the value the the video itself has no value, right? So you want to make sure that you turn on a notification bell so that you receive all these uh, videos on time, okay? And you're able to act accordingly. If not, thanks for watching, right? If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to address it. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.